Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. One question I get every day is people are interested in selling their prints and they don't know how to go about doing it. So I decided to make a short video and talk about three different on-demand print websites that you might want to look into. Now, it's very difficult for me to compare these different websites because all of them offer something slightly different. Also, it's difficult because a lot of them are US based and although some of them might have facilities in other countries I think a lot of other countries are really underserved so particularly if you're from any country in Africa or any country in South or Central America um, or you're in Iceland or Greenland or something like that I think that these sites probably wouldn't work for you because there's not a manufacturing facility and or print lab located close enough to you that would make sense but I'm gonna go through them anyway and you know you could do your own research and make your own decision now I am just gonna go and give an overview and like I said it's difficult to compare them head-to-head -head because they're all a little different I'm just gonna talk about some general things about each one now one thing you should know about all of them is that they all offer various products not just prints you could buy other stuff you know through them like metal prints and um, you know even like throw pillows from one of them and, and iPhone cases and things like that so they all offer various different products they all um, are on demand and what that means is that you would upload your images to their website people would browse your images they would pick one they want to purchase they would buy the product right from the website complete their transaction on the website the website handles all the transaction, all the money, all that stuff. And then they either print it themselves or they send it to a professional lab to be printed and it gets shipped directly to your customer. And really you didn't do anything but upload the image to the website and you get to set your own pricing. So you could you know, say it's basically how much you want to make because each product's going to have its own cost involved depending on what lab you use and which of these websites you use. So let's say an 8x10 print, just for the sake of argument, is going to cost $10 to be printed. You might say you want to make $10 on it, so it's going to sell for $20. Or on some of these websites, they want a percentage. So you might say you want to make 100% profit. So that $10 print will sell for $20. And when it's all said and done, you'll get $10. And it's, it's very easy and convenient this way. The alternative is you print the images yourself on your own printer and you have a website that has shopping cart software and handles the transaction and calculates sales tax if applicable calculates shipping to wherever you have to ship it to you have to then package the print and go to the post office and mail the print so I think these on-demand sites are a lot better so we're just gonna go over I'm just gonna talk about each one briefly I'm going to go look, show you a bunch of pages from each of the websites. And in the description below this video, I'll have links for all the pages I display here so that you could better research it and see if any one of these fit your needs. Now, the first website I'm going to talk about is Fine Art America. They're probably the largest and been around the longest. They offer tons of different products, again, depending on where you live and where their manufacturing facility is, because not all their manufacturing facilities make all the different products. But they're very easy to use you could upload your images there people could buy them there again it's like total on demand you don't have to worry about anything except sending them up there and set your pricing uh, if you look through you know some of their features they are a very feature rich website they uh, again have all these different products we'll get into more detail of the products in a minute um, they ship worldwide they have uh, museum quality prints and frames and they do framing and all that stuff so it's really good they have a return policy which helps your customers know you know give them some you know satisfaction that they're going to get a nice product um, now they have different sales channels depending on which you plan you purchase from fine art america you could have your own website on fine art america and they call it, I believe, a, I forget what they, they call it, like a white website or something like that. I can't remember. But here is an example of one of those websites. Uh, this gentleman here has, is selling, you know, throw pillows, canvas prints of all his work. And uh, 
the one disadvantage, I guess, is most of the websites all look the same. Uh, they're these kind of white websites. So you really can't do too much personalization to it to make it really yours. But you'll see that when the pricing comes down, it really is probably the most affordable way you could go is Fine Art America. Now, if you do have your own website already, they have uh, API, they have code available where you could just add this code to your own website and their shopping cart will show up on your website. You'll be able to sell the images through your own website and it will all be still be handled by Fine Art America and you don't have to worry about anything. They have mobile apps and I think mobile apps are very important and something you should research for any company you think you're going to use and make sure their mobile app is responsive and works well and would make it easy for your client or customer to buy images from you. They have retail stores too. I guess they could sell images through retail stores. They have a little widget for Facebook. So if you have a Facebook page like Joe Smith Photography, uh, you could add a widget to that page and it will add a little tab. And actually anyone that visits your page will hit that tab and they could buy the images right through Facebook. So I thought, I think that's pretty cool. They partnered through Shopify. So you could sell through images through Shopify as well. I mentioned through your own website. They, I think this is pretty cool too. Uh, they partnered with ABC, Disney, any of those TV shows on uh, any of those two networks uh, want to or need an image for a TV show. Well, you know, they're showing Modern Family here and you can see there's an image in the background here. Uh, if they need an image, they buy it through Fine Art America and they may buy or license one of your images for use in the TV show. So that's kind of pretty cool too. I mean, chances of that happening might be slim, but it is pretty cool. Um, they All of these places too, you could promote on social media. They all that, have that available. So you could tweet and, you know, post to Facebook and things like that. Uh, Fine Art America has email campaigns. So you could get um, uh, like a newsletter or something like that. And it will go out to 10,000 of you know people that sign up to 10,000 at one time. Now I could again this a lot of these things I talk about it depends what plan you purchase. Okay, um, you could uh, issue press releases, blogs, things like that. Um, another this professional networking is to me it's a little more like Flickr. They have groups and this is where you and other photographers could join a group and talk about things. Uh, there's contests involved. You could uh, participate in discussions. All these sites have full analytics uh, where you could get an idea of who's vid visiting your website, what time, or looking at your images, what time, where they're from, things like that. Uh, also, they'll tie into Google Analytics to give you even more analytics for uh, you know who is visiting your site. Now, I mentioned it's important to know where the stuff will be printed and made because that's important for your customer. Uh, Fine Art America has 15, they call them manufacturing centers, throughout Canada, US, UK, Europe, and Australia. But not all of those manufacturing centers make every product. You could see that Europe and Canada look like they only make canvas prints, frame prints, prints, and posters. Australia makes all of that plus iPhone and Galaxy cases. The UK makes all of that plus metal prints and greeting cards. And the US has the full range of product including shower curtains, throw pillows, and things like that. So keep that in mind. Again, if you're in South America, um, Africa, any country throughout those continents, Iceland or Greenland, you're in trouble. There's not a lot there for you. Uh, you know, nothing really close is what I'm getting at. So I think that's unfortunate. All right, now the membership plans. They really only have two plans and they're the most reasonable of the sites we're gonna talk about. They have a free plan and a $30 a year plan. I think the main difference is with the free plan, you're only allowed to upload 25 images. With the premium plan, you have an unlimited number of uploads. Also with the free plan, uh, you don't have that email newsletter capability uh, that we talked about, so you couldn't do that. And the shopping cart widget for your own website isn't available in the free plan and you really don't get your own website on Fine Outer America like I showed you Scott's website here. So you won't get that either. Uh, so for $30 a month though, you'd get that website if you want it on Fine Outer America or tie 
their shopping cart software into your own website so it might be well worth the 30 bucks a year to do but this might be a plan that you might want to try the standard you know uh, program see how easy it is to upload images set your pricing things like that look at their analytics see how all that works and then if you find that you like it then you could upgrade to the premium plan that might be the way to go now the next website we'll talk about is Zenfolio and again it's really hard to compare these sites to each other because they're really considerably different in a lot of ways even though they're kind of the same thing they're on-demand print websites my opinion now this is strictly my opinion Zenfolio might be better if you're a wedding portrait lifestyle photographer because you could set it up so that depending on which plan you buy again uh, you could set it up so that your client could log in and look at just their images and purchase their images that way so this would work obviously for let's say a wedding photographer you just did the Smith wedding and Mr. and Mrs. Smith then could log into the website and view just their images from their wedding and purchase them directly that way so it works very well in that regard and and Zenfolio on the next website we talk about this is kind of what they're geared for um, and another thing I think Zenfolio has and the next website is you have a little more control of your the look of your website they have what they call presets a lot of people call them website templates but they call them presets so they have some wedding presets landscape presets a school and lifestyle preset so you could set up the the web look to more reflect your personality and the way you want it to look um, now it is considerably more than fine art America if you look at the plan we'll go by plan by plan here you can see that they have three plans from five dollars a month up to thirty dollars a month and again I'll have a link for this so you can look through there's a lot of differences in the plan there's pretty too much too many differences to really go through in this video or I'd be reading all this stuff off so you get an idea of what is offered from one to the other and you know they have some add-ons too for the plans here um, but again you know this is something that you'd really have to research um, and go through and see what I would suggest you do and what I suggest actually every beginning business photographer does not only set up a business plan for your business that's the most important thing but also as far as selling prints you want to sit down what what you'll need like are you just you know a weekend warrior you really work a really hectic job and you find photography relaxing to get out on the weekend and, and shoot some images and you just want to make some money to help buy equipment you want to sell some of your prints then you know write down what your requirements are for that or if you're a wedding photographer and you want your customers to have really ease of use and convenience and write down all you know that and then look at the different features of all the different websites and see what will work for your specific needs that's why I really don't want to make personal judgments on one of these websites might be better than the other because it really depends on what you are using it for and what you need it for now Zenfolio uses different labs and again this too depends on which of the plans you purchase in the US they have Ampex Pro and Ampex Miller's photo float they have Zenfolio photo, Zenfolio photo products um, which is t-shirts mugs and keychains and picture postage uh, custom US postage stamps I guess so um, then in Europe they have uh, one vision imaging limited and picto and again they have that Zenfolio for t-shirts and stuff they have one lab in Canada picto and then they have these two labs in Australia so again a great part of the world is being left out so you know again if you you're in one of these you know you're in uh, South Africa or something like that and you want to use one of these sites contact them before you spend any money and see what shipping costs might be to the, your country because obviously most of your cus customers will probably be coming from your country and see what um, you know time how long it will take so you could let your customers know up front that you know the they order an image from you it might take X number of weeks for them to get it and stuff like that definitely something you want to consider and check into before you spend any money on these sites the last site we're going to talk about is smug mug and it's pretty much like Zenfolio you could get your own website your own look for the website um, 
And they have four plans. It depends, you know, from $3.99 a month to $25 a year. And those prices are if you pay for the whole year up front, like Zenfolio. Or you could go monthly, and it's considerably more per month when you go monthly. Um, and again, I'll have links to all this so you could judge which one might work best for you. Uh, they have the features and they have feature comparison list. So you could go through and look through. And another thing I want to remind you is make sure that they have a good mobile app so that that works well for you. Because more and more people now are only using their phone or a tablet. They're not using a computer as much anymore. And it you want to make it as easy and convenient for these people to your potential customers or your customers to buy images from you. So you want to make sure that the um, the mobile apps are up to snuff for all three of these companies. Now, I've used SmugMug of the three, and um, I've just used it recently because I'm doing a thing where I'm uh, selling some prints for charity, and I have some prints on there that I'm selling for charity, and it, it works okay, uh, you know. Uh, the way they work it too is they tell you how much they don't tell you how much each product costs necessarily although it's easy to look up you just tell them the percent of markup you want so if you say a hundred percent markup that means if a print costs five dollars they're gonna sell it for ten dollars and then you're gonna get five dollars that's how much you'll end up getting when all said and done so in some ways I guess that's easier but you know it could get rather expensive because a lot of times people don't use a linear markup like that as someone is buying a very expensive print let's say it's a large large metal print and it might cost you $250 to make all of a sudden 100% markup means that's $500 a lot of people don't use that linear markup they use an individual markup on each product and that's not always available for all these websites so you got to keep that in mind as well uh, so it might limit some of your bigger book sales or bigger item sales. Um, now, of the three sites, uh, SmugMug has the least amount of labs available. In the U.S., they have Easy Prints, Bay Photo, and WHCC. And again, depending on which um, on which plan you purchase, you'll get how many choices of labs to choose from. I use Bay Photo in the U.S. Um, you could use, you know, whichever one you have experience with. In the UK is Luxley Color, I think. And that's really it. That's all you got. So uh, SmugMug might work, not work best for you just because the labs are limited compared to the other uh, two that we've talked about. So again, this is just an overview. I didn't want to get too detailed because it would really drag on and get complicated. And I think this is really something that you have to research for yourself because all of us have different needs or different requirements or different goals in selling prints oh, why we're doing it and what we want to accomplish with it so um, take a look at these sites again I will have links for all these different uh, pages that we visited in the description below the video you can take a look at them there and hopefully this helps you make an informed decision and one thing I do want to add these aren't the th the only three on-demand sites. These are three that I think might be the most popular. So I wanted to just mention those. Yeah, by all means, if you guys are using a, a site beside one of these three and you really like it, mention it in the comments below so other people could check that out. Uh, check your website out. Uh, see how it does compared to these. And it might work better than any of these uh, three for them. So thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.